Welcome to the session of pet making presentation. As promised, we're going to show you some exciting tips on how to make a bed and some exciting information and how to keep up your uh, bed's longevity in the long run. Uh, I'm sure you would get benefited out of it in your day-to-day -day life. So let's start. As you can see behind, there is a mattress and the bed which is completely stripped off. Now what you need to ensure that the mattress is always kept clean and kept rotated all the time. Definitely the first step would be to ensure that the mattresses are rotated periodically. It could be every quarter, it could be, it could be every six months. Now why you need to do is to make sure that your mattress always stays even and it doesn't really give you an uneven uh, or should I say which leads to a very uncomfortable sleep. So please make sure that you look out for your proper information at the base which should be ideally here or sometimes there and then rotate them accordingly. So now you can see that mattress has now a mattress protector on top of it. Now mattress protector would look like this. It is a 100% cotton made uh, linen and it should always be considered on top of a mattress every time you purchase a mattress. Why? Because you would like your mattresses to be protected from any kind of liquid that could possibly penetrate into your mattress. This is something that can be washed on daily basis or weekly basis depending upon the usage wherein the mattresses needs to be washed once in six months exclusively with the dry shampooing procedures. And now you see behind me a beautiful bed sheet being put on the mattress. So now there are some points that you need to take extreme note of how you actually should deal with uh, bed making with regards to your back and its positioning. So I have my colleague Raj who would actually demonstrate you how to exactly bend down every time you make your bed. Remember your back is very important and you must take care of it. So Raj, please tell us. Bend the knee, right knee and uh, this three or four inches you need to tuck the bed sheet. So same like an uh, envelope side. Which is otherwise called as mitre folding. Am I right? Alright, so as exactly uh, Raj showed you that every time you bend down, you always put your knee first on the base. Could you show us once again Raj? Yes. First the knee and then down, only then you can pull it up. So now you've seen how have we managed to actually lay down a beautiful bed sheet on top of the mattress. So the next procedure is to talk about the pillows. We all love pillows and we would like to have a good night's sleep but we must not compromise on its hygiene practices on how to safeguard our pillows. So pillow also needs protection because pillows are usually made up of foam, sometimes feather and if a liquid goes inside and then it's very very difficult to actually remove it out and to dry it properly then it would always give you a stale smell. So remember every time you buy a pillow you actually buy a protector as well. Let's move on to the next procedure of how you could actually put the whole duvet into a case so efficiently and losing uh, not much of the time while making a bed. So now we move ahead with our duvet uh, step. So now I call upon Mr. Raj to kindly assist us and take us through the duvet insertion procedure. So what do we do Raj so next? We need to do first uh, just take a two side corner and press the two side corner and the middle of the duvet first. And you need to put in the inside the duvet cover. Right. One side corner first, and take place them the middle of the duvet cover, and another side cover. Just say two times or three times. So now, as you see, that we are done with a beautiful bed presentation right at the back. Now we are talking about how can you actually enhance the look of your bed, or should I say, beautify your bed. It could be just adding a little touches like a runner. A runner is nothing but it could be a silk combined or a pure cotton that you could actually buy it and spread it on your bed and this definitely enhances the whole look of your bed. Plus you could get some bolsters which looks like these big ones, Kiraj, and then we right, could you place it. So we just place them at the end of your pillows and get some nice decorative cushions to add some more touch so after you actually throw some cushions over your bed your normal bed becomes all of a sudden a very good looking bed so that was the wrap up of our bed making skill i'm sure you must have enjoyed it you're ready to now get into nice sleep mode i'm off 
and please let us know should you have any queries and stay tuned for some more exciting things. Mm-hmm.